so this is what the grow buddy looks like fully disassembled we're going to assemble it together so that it's easier to understand going over the parts you have the grow buddy five gallon bucket you have three shutoff valves that are quarter inch you have two bulkheads one with the float valve on it you have two quarter inch adapters for going to quarter inch lines you have your float valve itself your float which goes into your pipe for housing it for going up and down you have your net cup your lid with your hole for your net cup you have your reservoir and you have your line for connecting your reservoir to your grow buddy now we're going to go ahead and install it we're going to go ahead and put it all together when i send you the grow buddy it comes fully together but if you want to take it apart then this is how you're going to put it back together first off you're going to go ahead and take your bulkhead that doesn't have your float valve on it this is your drain and you're going to put it into the grow buddy from the inside out with the rubber on the inside of the grow buddy so we're going to go ahead and stick that through and you're going to want to go ahead and just screw it through if it's not pushing through freely because i like to make the hole somewhat snug then you'll go ahead and put on your washer and then your your nut to hold your washer on then you're going to go ahead and tighten this by hand and then you're going to give it a little bit more of a tighten if you have a wrench but not too much you don't want to over tighten these these work very well without being extremely tight. So we're nice and hand tightened right now. So now we're gonna go ahead and just take our wrench and we're gonna go ahead and just give it a couple of extra turns. And if you have to, hold the inside while you turn it. And you're not looking to get this very, very tight. Okay, so that's good. Now I've already Teflon taped these. You'll install your quarter inch adapter onto your bulkhead. If you remove it, add Teflon tape. Go ahead and very gently give that a little tighten, but with the Teflon tape, you don't need to be very tight. Now you can go ahead and put on your drain valve now. As for the pipe here, you're going to feed this through and for now, temporarily, put this on. Now, slip this into your pipe and from the bottom you're going to screw it onto the float valve thread on your float and you're not going to tighten it you're going to leave it loose so it can go up and down right there now you're going to remove this nut and put this through your grow buddy from the inside. And now reinstall your nut. And go ahead and give it a little extra turn because there's no water flowing through there so it doesn't need to be extremely tight right here teflon tape your quarter inch adapter if you've removed it take off the old teflon tape and put on new and go ahead and give it a little extra turn now you're going to install your t with your valve and now we're going to go ahead and put our lid on with our neck cup. And now all that's left 
is to install our line from our grow buddy to our reservoir. This valve is extra. So that's a full install. Now you'll elevate the reservoir above the grow buddy. You'll go ahead and let the reservoir fill the grow buddy. And then if you're starting a brand new plant, you're going to add additional water to get to the bottom of the net cut. So we're gonna go ahead and fill the grow buddy up now and install a plant and go over that whole process. So here we have the grow buddy set up. We have a rosemary plant put in that just started getting roots from the bottom of the net cup. As you can see, we got the grow buddy reservoir slightly elevated over the grow buddy because it works off of gravity. So it needs to be elevated. That's why it doesn't require any electricity. Now the roots should be coming out of the bottom of the net cup before you place it into a grow buddy. So once you have established roots coming out of the bottom of the net cup, then it's time to go ahead and put it into a grow buddy and let the gravity reservoir feed the grow buddy. The water level will fill up right about here, but that's still about four or five inches below the net cup. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and add an extra gallon of water to reach the bottom of the net cup for a brand new plant. Then allow that water to drop down and the float valve will kick in and the gravity reservoir will keep that water level at that point. Let's go ahead and look at some oxygen roots that have been established because the air gap between the water and the net cup is why you get the nice oxygen roots, allowing you to not need to use electricity, air stones or air pumps. So let's go ahead and look at some oxygen roots. So here's a close look at some of the roots after they've established a little bit. See, these are in the air gap. The water level does not go above these roots and that's why they're able to be converted into oxygen roots. So because of this, you don't need an uh, air pump or recirculation. So once these roots are nice and established, then your plant will be getting the air it needs very easily. Having the float valve set is why you're able to keep the water level so consistent and have these roots form. So that's how it should look after a little bit of development. So that's how the grow buddy works. Because of the float valve in the reservoir, you're able to can keep a consistent water level and have healthy oxygen roots. So if you're looking to get away from air pumps and recirculating systems, Think about using a grow buddy or converting to the cracky method. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Out for now.